Hello guys, my name is Ashman and this is more 49ers news. Now before I start, I will be live five minutes before uh, the Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys and the Bucks play. Uh, I'll be live on YouTube, keep an eye on that, see my reaction and everything. And um, yeah, that's that for that. So let's get on with 49ers news and it's about Jimmy G. It's on nfl.com forward slash news. Uh, Nick Shook. Around the NFL writer did the article. Jimmy Garoppolo confirms he's 49 a starter, even if Cole Shanahan won't say it. So let's try and read the article. Cole Shanahan won't explicitly answer the paramount questions around the 49ers if, even if we can already know his hypocritical response. Still, it bears asking whose team's starting quarterback will be for week one against the Detroit Lions. The quarterback position is of the utmost importance to the team's chances, and the 49ers did trade multiple picks to move up to take Trey Lance, a move that typically indicates a charging of the ground under centre. Shanahan isn't budging, though. It sounds if his stubbornness is now sort of is straight in place, uh, out of principle. I'm not going to answer that because I feel like all you guys have to do is look how I've talked since July 27th. I think that was my opening day of press conference, Shanahan, uh, Shanahan said Wednesday. I almost wish I wasn't being hard-headed with it, but I feel like you guys are being a little hard-headed to keep asking. I feel like I've already answered it, and so we'll keep it at that. We can respect it. After all, Shanahan is dug in too deep at this point, and we'll get an answer this weekend anyway. The answer according to the 49ers unofficial depth chart, uh, complained by the team's commission staff as of Tuesday. It is one uh, we expected all along. Jimmy remains QB1 in Bay Area. Shanahan also uh, revealed Garoppolo is one of 17 captains for the season, underscoring his importance to the team, even if those uh, hoping for a long-term change want to see Lance get his first regular season reps. That change will likely come someday, but they... Uh, but that day will not be included in this weekend, especially with Lance still working from uh, working back from a finger injury suffered a preseason win over the Raiders. Garoppolo has handled the entire situation rather well, uh, saying all the right things while continuing to do his job. The great uh, his greatness hurdle is in health, which has proven to be less than re reliable in recent years. He's healthier now, uh, although. Uh, he's healthier now, though, and ready to embrace that the uh, Niners have refused to admit as an organisation until now. For a while, Garoppolo uh, said when asked when he was told by the 49ers' top signal caller, I told you guys a long time ago, I had a pretty good feeling about it. Kind of joked about it, but yeah, I always kind of knew where I stood and everything. And yeah, now it's official, I guess. Once... Seen as a long-term solution under centre, Garoppolo's uh, inability to stay on the field has mumbled his future, and the 49ers were intent on making sure another Garoppolo injury didn't once again tank a season. No one can blame the 49ers for adding to the quarterback room then, including Garoppolo. Shanahan said in the past that he could take the time to speak with Garoppolo following 49ers stunning trade up to third overall pick, which the 49ers eventually spent on Lance, and the coach said during the offseason Garoppolo handed it well. I think that they did uh, uh, exactly what they were supposed to do and everything, Garoppolo said of the trade up uh, to select Lance. Obviously, it was a weird situation uh, in and of itself, but just I don't know throughout all of it, Trey, uh, of all of it, to try to stay focused on myself and focused on getting this team better and putting us in the right position. Both knew the change likely wouldn't happen overnight. Garoppolo still carries value for the 49ers, something Shanahan was sure to improvise in his discussions with Garoppolo and remains the truth entering week one. It's still Jimmy G's team, even if Shanahan's stubbornness prevents him from clearly starting it. So according to Jimmy G, I think he's still starting it. My personal response to that. Trey Lance won't be starting it. It's a fact. It's a it's a big fact. It's, it, it's a fact. He said in the beginning, like him or don't like him, love him, you know, love him or don't, trade him or don't. Jimmy Garoppolo is your QB one. Now we said that at the beginning. It's your QB one, even though 
they try to bump his ass up to say, hey, look, listen, you know, Jimmy G's okay. He looks great on the field, great on the training circuit. He looks great. I think we're going to do very well. And then through so many people's media and everything that watched for training, he's had a lot of long, decent passes, short, medium, decent passes, okay? He's done, he's done well through the pass and everything. But it's that interception. He's had half great, decent passes, but then half great, decent to leading interceptions so quick like that. That's my worry. Has he improved? And it doesn't look like that he has improved over the three preseason games. And this is the guy that you want to try and trade value from. Week one, you didn't really play him. Week two, you sort of played him, but he didn't really do well. Week three, he played pretty well. But he sort of ain't changed a bit. It's stuff like that. I Listen... Jimmy G's our QB1, and I respect that. I'll humble that because he's decent. He did well two years ago. Lack it or lump it, that was two years ago. Now we're on this season, and he needs to get his arse in gear. We need to be prepared because it's like the playoffs. We need to get to the playoffs. There's so many pundits on the websites like Good Morning America. Uh, Colin Hurd and all these other like uh, officials for these websites are saying that listen this is my prediction even in, in our group we're not even third we're like fourth at the fifth they reckon on average we're going to win minimum eight maximum nine games and lose the rest and you don't want that Jimmy G Needs to go out on the first week against the Lions on a big high. Can he do it? I take every game step by step. I don't know. I hope he does. We've got a great defence and fantastic offence. I think we can do it. But who knows? Um, It looks like he's going to be our QB1. I can't wait. See what he does. We're like the underdogs. So let's hope we can do well in week one. Um... Thank you very much. Leave your comments, guys. Tell me what you think. Do you think Jimmy G is our QB1? And if so, can he do well? Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear you guys, uh, what you've read. Thank you very much for the 41 subscribers as well. Very fortunate. I appreciate you guys subscribe. And if you're new, subscribe. I'll be live on the first game back to the NFL. The Cowboys at the Bucks. I'll be live uh, 5 to 10 minutes earlier from when it starts. And, we'll, and then you'll see me action. Straight throughout, no stop streaming. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.